Okay, we're looking at gate valves. You'll know these because of the nice big red head on them. Um, we're looking at the repair and, and sort of what goes wrong with them. Now, quite often they're really tricky to close. And what you can do is you can get your grips and you can literally grab it like that, that way. A little bit of a squeeze and you can usually crack them free. Now, these have a tendency to leak from the gland nut here, which we'll look at in a moment. But basically what you're looking at doing, if it's, if it's stiff, is to take it apart to grease it. Now it can be tricky because the, the, the thread size here is pretty big in relation to the body size and you mustn't strain the pipe work around it. So grip it where you can to undo it but don't be surprised if you can't because they really are quite short and they will try. I mean even this one as you can see which is a used one um, I had trouble getting it out and I've got it on the bench. Anyway try. So what you do you loosen off and take out the insert and what you're left with is, these work with a, a brass plug with uh, machined faces dropping down onto that machined, uh, the machined edges. Now, the actual, ed the actual um, sort of ceiling edges are these sides where the plug drops down in, they're not the bottom. Now, often the problem with these is that the debris gets stuck right in the bottom there um, and it stops the valve closing completely, so if there's muck in there, just get that out. Now, if there's muck in there, to be fair, to be fair it's going to come back, but still. Um, you're looking at the you want to look at these faces, the edges here to make sure that they're flat and still um, usable. Gate valves are not great for sealing properly, but you know just do the best you can. Have a look and see. There's not really much you can do there because the machine the plug is machined at a certain angle as are the edges. So if there's a problem, you need to change it. Assuming it's just stiff, what you can do is a left-hand thread wind this off. Put a bit of silicone grease in there. Now, the ideal thing to do is to wire brush this so you get all the, the lime scale muck off it. Um, and a um, bit of silicone grease in there, and uh, back on it goes. Now, one of the things you can get with these is that this little washer can go around the outside. Now, they're a bit tricky to buy those sometimes. Um, so, the best thing to do, make sure it doesn't cause you a problem. It's a bit of grease around here so the washer doesn't snag when you put it in. Um, that drops back in there and then you just turn it down. In, in urgent times what you can do is you can replace this washer here with a little roll of PTFE, Loctite 55, something like that. Now, leaking from the gland, usually you can stop them leaking from here by just nipping that a bit tighter because what this does, if you look here, there's a nylon bush, and it literally just crushes the nylon bush to give a good seal. But if it's causing a real problem, again, a bit of a wrap of, uh, of, of this will help it run a bit more. So you can just run a bit around it. And um, a bit much again, but there we are. And then drop that down on top just to give it that extra bit to seal, because that will actually sort of... Um, squeeze into all the gaps and, and stop the leak. Obviously this is not ideal but we're just talking about real world scenarios here for example a central heating system that you can't drain or you, know, you don't want to drain because it'll take forever um, etc. But yeah and the ideal thing with these is to um, when you leave them open open them all the way to, and then just back just a little bit so that it's not sitting that's not sitting hard up against the top Okay, that's gate valves. Um, the ideal thing with these is to avoid the Chinese ones if you can. Um, you want to be paying for good valves because otherwise at the end of the day a valve is there for an emergency or for you know, maintenance work. And uh, if you buy cheap valves you're going to end up having to drain the whole system rather than just shut off the valve. So there we are, gate valves.